Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Matt Williams. I'm a tutor in politics and what is known as the Access Fellow here at Jesus College at the University of Oxford. And I'm delighted to be here with Jaden. Jaden, do you mind telling us a bit about yourself? Hi everyone, I'm Jaden. I'm a first year mathematics undergraduate at Jesus College. And thank you for having me here. Right, and Jaden, tell us about maths. What year are you in? What are you studying at the moment? Uh, okay, I'm in first year. My prelims are in about four days at the time uh, of this recording. And prelims are exams. Yeah. yeah, my first year exams. Mm -hmm. uh, in first year, you don't really get to choose your module, so mm -hmm. there's a set syllabus for everyone. Yeah. So, covers you know a very wide spectrum of areas. You know, there's your linear algebra, geometry, calculus, all of those things. Mm -hmm. and it's kind of separated into those five papers. I think twelve modules spread across all of those right. and uh, a coding project tacked on top of that. So nice. Yeah, really a wide spectrum of things. And you, you've come from Malaysia, right? So why, why have, Oxford? Yeah. You could have gone to Cambridge, Imperial, Warwick, Harvard, MIT, etc. Why Oxford? Well, that's a good, good question. You know, I mean, I think um, what kind of sets Oxford apart from other unis, uh, strangely, um, is that also is very developed in kind of the humanities philosophical uh -huh. side of it. Mm of uh, academics that is. Right. And what I would say is that that's uh, in some ways kind of how I want to mm -hmm. uh, approach right. mathematics as a subject. Right. So I think it um, aligns with my mathematical philosophy in that right. sense. Interesting. Is that yeah. I look at it kind of like, uh, you know, it's not, it's not really about calculations mm -hmm. or like not, not fundamentally not at right. this stage, yeah, sure. you know. Uh, when you boil down to it, it's really about you know the logic and how you build your proofs, how you mm -hmm. deduce things from mm. other statements and the axioms that you assume. Right, interesting. So you've raised a crucial point about applying for any subject at university that you've got to look into the course and how it's yeah. taught. I think sometimes people get fixated on institutional brands, for want of a better word. In other words, there are famous institutions like MIT and Cambridge for mathematics, but if you're not convinced the course is right for you, then you should shop around, right? Because there's lots Definitely. of good maths courses out there. The application process is quite competitive for maths. One of the most important aspects of which is the maths admissions test or the MAT, the MAT. Mm -hmm. Do you have any tips on how to perform well on that? Ooh. So the MAT is interesting it's kind of i would say it's definitely like kind of the difficult it's honestly kind of a difficult thing to prepare for the only thing you can really say is do a bunch of past papers right. yeah. like there's not much it's else not rocket you can science, do. Yeah, especially <laughs> the fact that they've recently changed mm. the math mm -hmm. the kind of math format right so that makes it um yeah, it's, it's actually a more difficult question to answer than it should be. Well, I mean, I've it, been tutoring yeah. math as well on oh, the okay. side, so I've kind of had to think about that. You know, how do you prepare for it? Well, it's a crucial insight though, right? Because I think some people are under the impression that you don't need to prepare for the test. You can just go in cold and you'll be fine. But I think it's clear from mm. everyone we speak to, no, no, no. Mm. <laughs> if you practice, you will get better. And obviously, if you're actually helping people prepare, then that's clear as well. Mm. Yeah. You could, if you're that good. Right, not, exactly. Not, not a lot of people are that good. Right, and maths is one of those things where practice typically improves performance, right? Of course. Yeah, so yeah, I think going into the test, recognizing that it's hard and managing your expectations accordingly, in other words, not imagining you're going to find it easy straight off the bat, but being willing to persevere and keep trying, I think is a good idea. How about the interview, Jaden? How did you find that? Mm. So if you... I would say um, the experience is quite new. So if you have the opportunity to do mock interviews, I mean, there's a lot of, um, well, I'm not from the UK, but I'm sure a lot of schools in the UK do have this kind of scheme where they do mock interviews. And um, I was able to like, get some myself from mm -hmm. you know, my teachers at school back home. Mm -hmm. If you have the opportunity to do those, I would say do, um, 
you know, maybe do at least one. Mm. But if, don't do too much. You don't sure. want to over-prepare for this kind of stuff. If you don't have those opportunities, which are not necessarily widely available in the UK, yeah. we post a lot of practice interviews on YouTube to try and help. Mm. And also, as you say, some people can be over-coached into interview, and they might sort of instill in you some bad habits and basically an interview is a mock tutorial so the way we teach in Oxford with small group teaching tutorials we recreate that in the interview to see how you might cope so you might be given a mathematical puzzle and with the tutor you would try and resolve it together was that broadly your experience you were given some sort of puzzle yeah, to work through definitely so they would you know give you some problem mm. um, you know to quote an example they they said, okay, we give you this definition of a gentle function. Then I give you some function, you know, is this gentle on this interval, so on and so forth. You kind of work through it. Mm. And if you get stuck, which I did, you can ask for help mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. you are expected to, which yeah. I think is a lot of, a very important thing that yep. people should know before going into their interviews. Definitely. So when I interview students, I'm preparing the questions to be very difficult and I'm expecting you to ask for help. It's not a sign of weakness or incapacity. In fact, it shows that you have the eagerness to learn, which is hugely important. Great, thank you, Jaden. So to any of our viewers, any last bits of advice about whether they are thinking about Oxford or mathematics, what would you say? I would say if you're, well, what I would say is this, if you're thinking about doing a mathematics degree like that, shows to me that you are someone who enjoys the subject. Mm -hmm. So um, whether it's Oxford or anywhere else, one kind of thing that I was considering when I was um, thinking of going into uni was like, um, am I like, some things like, am I cut out for a pure math degree? Mm -hmm. That was a consideration that came up, you know, is it um, kind of applicable to the workforce? Because I think mm. sometimes there's mm -hmm. still this perception that, um, you know, especially like back home in Asia, I'm not, not particularly sure about how it's viewed in the UK. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the more, the more kind of practical applied degrees like right. uh, engineering mm -hmm. and uh, business finance and so on mm -hmm. would kind of be seen as more applicable to the workplace. Mm. Uh, but in my opinion, it's what I would say is this: if you, the most important thing is that you enjoy what you're doing. Yes. Yes. Right. You. There's <laughs> no point like choosing a degree which is quote unquote better, and you suffer through three years. Absolutely of it. not. Yeah. No, it's. I entirely agree, and of course, the skills you develop with a maths degree are highly transferable across all parts of the labour force. So. You're absolutely right, and I agree with that. Why bash your head against a brick wall doing something you don't like? Because you'll end up with a career you don't like. So that's Precisely. excellent advice. Thank you so much, Jaden. Thanks for your time, and we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye. Bye.